Hedwig, we call it a platform for the following reason. It is a highly distributed platform on which one could get complete protocol consolidation. And through the abstractions that we expose and the different policies that you can attach to these abstractions, you could collapse several layers of a traditional storage stack onto one single platform. And I think that's the holy grail that the storage industry has been looking for. The reason why we felt that we should consolidate at a protocol level is because from conversations that we have had with various customers, they feel like they have one vendor for block, they have one vendor for NFS, they have a different vendor for object storage. It's a nightmare to manage and operate. What if you could give them one platform and you use it however you want? You've completely taken out the different ways of learning how to operate and manage different systems and made their lives much easier. And that, I think, is a very critical thing given that data is going to grow exponentially over time. From a capability standpoint, uh, none of the capabilities are actually new at a high level, right? Replication was always there, but there was no flexibility in the way you do replication. We, we changed that in the way we bring replication to the uh, DR compression, in storage, everything was like a separate appliance that drove these different features. We have collapsed them all onto one big, one platform, right? And the granularity at which one could provision storage in our system, I think is a very powerful primitive. The way the Hedwig platform has been designed and developed, we operate in an environment that is hypervisor agnostic. So it could be any hypervisor, could be bare metal environments, could be container environments, which are now kind of becoming very a big deal in the data center because you don't get all the side effects and the performance issues that you typically face in a virtualized environment. Storage has always been independent of the environment, so it's very important that any storage platform that comes out today or even perhaps tomorrow should continue to kind of adhere to that design goal. Provisioning of storage assets has been a big bane in the data center. And we all know about it. There are various studies that show that, you know, in a typical enterprise, to provision a VM, it takes anywhere between four to eight weeks, right? Or perhaps even more. Uh, and fundamentally, we know that the way it is done is there's a huge human latency. And from there are enough studies that show that storage provisioning is fundamentally the bottleneck. Now, on the flip side, if you look at Amazon, you and I can go there, click a few buttons, everything is provisioned for you, and it's ready to go. Now, if they can do it at the scale at which they operate, why can't that solution or that, that thinking be brought to the enterprise? And that's one of the primary design goals that we had embraced in our system. You could, I believe for the first time, provision storage assets of your mobile device. And I think that's a game changer.